Argentina have moved from strength to strength in international basketball for nearly a decade and are currently ranked number one in the world. But without a host of key players like Manu Ginobili and Carlos Delfino in qualifying last summer, the national team had to pull out all stops to reach this year's FIBA World Championship in Turkey. Got to set up Scola, but Roman and Scola coincide in the same spot. Here comes Cameron with the three. Sergio Hernandez's team lost its first two games at the FIBA Americas Championship, including a shocking upset to Venezuela in their opener. But Argentina's fortunes began to change after a heart-stopping 89-87 win over the Dominican Republic, a game in which Argentina's own superstar Luis Scola poured in 30 points. Luis Scola! Scola! Here comes Scola, one-on-one. -on, -one. on the last second, offensive rebound, Scola. But Luis Scola, the captain, speaks to the team, and I, I believe this team has finally found an identity. A 73-66 win over Uruguay in the quarterfinals secured a spot in Turkey, and Argentina finished with a bronze medal triumph over Canada. Sergio Hernandez had a tough act to follow as the new coach of Argentina. His predecessor, Ruben Magnano, had led the country to a silver at the 2002 FIBA World Championship and gold at the Athens Olympics. But Hernandez, a successful coach at Boca Juniors and most recently Pinarol, has done well with a 2008 Olympic bronze among his achievements. No player means as much to Argentina as Luis Scola. A former star in Spain with Tau Ceramica and now in the NBA with the Houston Rockets, the crafty Scola is old school. He can play facing the basket or with his back to the hoop. Scola, good turn. He scores, rebounds, defends, and has a killer pump fake. Scola, up and under. Oh, oh gets the bucket Luis. and the foul. Scola. That's a man's move. Yes, yeah, it is. A linchpin in the side since 2002, Scola is Argentina's most combative presence. Without him in qualifying, Argentina would be watching the rest of the world play in 2010. Argentina long ago made their mark on the FIBA World Championship by capturing gold in 1950, the first time the event was staged. As hosts, they beat the United States in the gold medal game. Since then, Argentina have captured one medal, a silver in 2002, after an overtime defeat to Yugoslavia in Indianapolis. Had Andres Nocioni made a shot from the corner at the end of the semifinal against Spain in 2006, Argentina would have played for the title. Argentina then lost the bronze medal game to the United States. Argentina face a very hard preliminary round campaign in Kaiseri. Serbia, the silver medalist at last year's Eurobasket, along with the Oceano Powers Australia, a dangerous wildcard team in Germany, African champions Angola, and Jordan, are all in Group A with Hernandez's team. If they progress, a very difficult eight finals matchup would surely await since Team USA, Slovenia, Brazil, and Croatia are among the six teams in Group B.